Okay, look who's popped up in my video. My little Sheree, my little baby. Say hi. hi. Wave at the camera. Hi. How old are you? Six. Tell the camera. Say I'm six years old. I'm six years old. And she just had a birthday the other day. So wish my baby happy birthday in the comments below. Mwah. Okay, say, look, you want to do makeup. I know, I know. We got to get into this video though. Say bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. I am coming to you all today with a review slash first impressions on a new product that has been raved about on YouTube and over the internet, over social media, I'll say. And um, I had to test it out for myself to see if it was all hype or was it actually, you know, a good product. So I will be using four of the products. Um, first of all, it's a well-known brand. Um, it's wet and wild. So they have these new foundations. They're called Photo, let's see here. Wet and Wild Photo Focus Foundation here. I have this product as well as their concealer, their pressed, um, their Photo Focus Pressed Powder, and one of their wonderful, wonderful bomb, bomb, bomb highlighters that I absolutely love. So getting right into it, I've already done my eyebrows. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin. I was kinda iffy on what primer I should use, so I've been using this LA Girls Primer, their Pro Prep Primer. I'm gonna use that on my skin, and we're just gonna get right into it. Um, I heard some good things about it. One thing about the, the one, one thing that I know about it is that it's supposed to be goodbye photo flash. So you know how sometimes you can wear foundation and it has this flashback, taking selfies and stuff. So we will be doing that test on this foundation today, the photo flash test. And um, it says it has been tested under seven light conditions. Um, it's been tested with, you know, of course, electronic um, devices as well as like smartphones and stuff like that with and without flash they say and yeah so it's supposed to be the bomb okay so let's just jump right into it the color that i have today is mocha <laughs> okay y'all before my camera decides to go uh to zero on me i was priming my skin so i'm gonna finish doing that as well okay and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and start applying the foundation like I said before, I'm gonna use one side with this brush and one side with my damp actual beauty blender. Oh, another thing, this is how the foundation comes. It comes with the spatula. You guys can see it's the spatula. It's kind of, you know, different. I know of another brand, another brand that has a spatula with it, so to start applying to my skin. Mm, let's see, As on camera it looks like the color is looking a little off, but we shall see. We shall see. Oh, I just messed my earring up. Darn it. Okay, I'm gonna clean that later. So I'm just gonna start this side with the beauty blender. Well, so far guys, looks like the coverage is pretty, pretty good. The coverage looks pretty good. Doesn't have any kind of weird smells to it, so that's a plus. I think it's covering pretty good and the color match is really good. I'm gonna add a little bit more. And it just, I mean, it does good with the beauty blender. I was thinking it looked like it wasn't doing too good with the beauty blender, but it does good. We're gonna see what it does with the ultimate blending brush. 
by Elf. We shall see, we shall see. So far, so good as far as the coverage that it's giving me. Okay, so this is the side with no makeup. No makeup on this side. And makeup on this side. And I'm sure it has to oxidize a little bit. So, yeah, we shall see. Let's just keep moving. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I think I've applied enough. It's pretty much covered up. I don't have a really acne or anything. Just a few freckles and things, you know, they're here and there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush for the other side so I'm gonna get it applied. pretty generous amount on here in here for my hair body pin curls I can just push them back okay so taking this brush and I'm gonna start buffing it in We shall see, but I am liking the coverage and to me it's a, it's a medium to full coverage foundation. I wouldn't call it just full coverage, but I would say it's medium to buildable full coverage foundation, which is a good thing. And this foundation y'all is only $5.99. I know that's what it costs at my local store and on the website as well. It is $5.99, let me double check. Yes, $5.99 for this foundation. So I think it's good. Only thing I would say is that they should have, you know, I went to certain stores, they didn't have um, our shade range. I had to go to a few different Walgreens to find my shade to the point where I was like, maybe I should just go online and order it. So I was on the website getting ready to order it. And on a humbug, I was just like, no, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna run on one more Walgreens and looked up and found it, honey, found it. So I was happy about that, saved myself a little shipping cost as well as being able to bring you guys this review. So I have the foundation all applied. Let me look at it from another angle with my little mirror here. Make sure I got enough on. I think I need some more under my eyes. Yeah, so I was just like, man, the only thing they need to do is they have all the shape. Wet wine, you're doing good so far. I need y'all to make sure all, all the shape ranges are in each store. I understand in some areas you don't, they don't sell as much, but if it's an area where there's people, you know, like here in Florida, I know it's not really that segregated. So y'all need to have the shades everywhere, okay? Side note. <laughs> Okay, so this is the foundation. I think the color is good. I think so far, let me just let you guys take a look. I didn't put any under here on my neck. Let me just put that down a little bit. So, so far that's the foundation on and I am going to set it, but I will set it once. I see what it's gonna do first. Let me make sure it's all blended out here. Next, I'm gonna go into the concealer. And the color that I have in the concealer is medium deep tan. Let's see how this works out, y'all, because this is looking mighty light. So I got it, I, didn't, I had one that was a darker shade, and I think they have maybe, if I'm not mistaken, I think they have like five or six different shades in this. I will definitely leave it in the description down below to be sure to give you guys sure accuracy or a link to get to the website as well. But it's their Photo Focus Concealer. Comes with a DOFA applicator, as you guys can see. And I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight. Whoop, yeah. It's pretty light. It's pretty light as you guys can see, but it's all good. We're gonna go ahead and work with this. Well, I'm 
thinking that this concealer uh, covers up pretty good, especially for $3.99. $3.99. See how it blends out. The color is light. ahead and set as I normally do with my with my air spun. I'm gonna go ahead and take my beauty blender on the flat side. Not my beauty blender but my real technique sponge and as I normally do I'm gonna take my setting powder and set that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use their uh, Photo Focus Pressed Powder in the color Coco, which was the deepest shade that they have, as you guys can see. And it does remind me of, more so of the matte mineralized skin finish in Deep Dark. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my e.l.f. powder brush, which I absolutely love, as usual, as you already know. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go over everything, my entire face, even my highlight, y'all, to kind of calm that down some. I really like the powder, I do. I must say, the powder is really good. Mm -hmm. I like this powder. It did just the right thing I needed to do to calm down that concealer highlight that I had going on here. Oh, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face off camera and I will be right back. Hey guys, I did go ahead and finish the rest of my face off camera and this is the little look that I came up with, just this here. And put on some lashes, of course. I'm not really crazy about these lashes right now. I'm kind of looking a little bit suspect, but anyway. So now I'm gonna go ahead after using my foundation in Mocha. Ooh, it's all over the place. Goodness. Then I'm gonna go in, I went in with the concealer, which is in medium tan deep or something like that. And then I also went into the cocoa powder, which I absolutely love this. I'm mean, foundation in that is like taking it for me. So now I'm just gonna go in with their highlighter. They came out with these highlighters. This one is in the color Crown Up My Canopy. I'm sure, sure, honey, you done heard about Crown Up My Canopy. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that to highlight my cheeks. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. As you all can see, that's the color there. And I'm just gonna use my fan brush here and I'm gonna go ahead and apply some to my cheeks. You guys can see that. You see the little, see the little. Okay. Then I'm gonna get the tip of my nose, as we always do, down the bridge of my nose. foundation is really 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 good it dried matte on its own once again I'm the color mocha 
Okay guys, so now that my makeup is all done, it's time to do the photo flash test with my phone here to make sure I got the flash on. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna have to turn off the lights, guys. Give me one second. I'm absolutely loving it. So you guys, definitely tell me what you think about how this foundation looked on me and what you thought of this review by showing me a thumbs up or a like and comment some beautiful, lovely, positive comments out in the comments below. And I will leave all this information of all these products in the description bar below. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Make sure you subscribe. Bye-bye, boo.